Hey, welcome to another how-to video from Ojo Coffee. Today I want to talk about a really, really neat product, uh, simple. It's called the Coffee Sock. Um, made in the United States, uh, organic muslin cotton, I believe. You can check out their story at Coffee Sock. But the type we carry at Ojo, um, from an environmental point of view, carrying this type of filter um, actually saves you money, uh, but not only uh, saves you money, but helps the environment in terms of not filling it with paper products. Um, these filters, uh, used anywhere, each one you can use for about six months up to a year without any issues. I mean, I've pushed mine nine months to a year, as long as you're rinsing it properly and letting it dry right away. There's mine, a few, this one's a few months old. See, it starts to discolor. But what I love about cloth, the main thing is, is a lot of people love French press coffee, but they don't like the grit or sediment that comes out of it. The cloth filter actually allows a lot more of the oils to pass through uh, when you're brewing, but it doesn't allow that grit to come through. So it's kind of like the best in between a drip and a French press uh, solution. So I'm going to show you how, how I brew it here. I'm just going to use a BPA free Hario cone filter and our classic glass server. Um, again, if you want to be coffee snob, grab your gooseneck kettle, uh, get a little bit of hot water, and uh, pre-wet your filter. Um, always a good thing to do. I mean, if you don't have time and you don't really care, you can go bypass and just dump water over the grinds, but I like to preheat everything. I like a hot cup of coffee. Got my little Joko cup here as well. So, um, preheating the vessel, I'm gonna dump that warm water into my cup for later. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind um, 15 grams a fresh brewed, fresh roasted Ojo coffee. And I'm grinding it a little bit coarser than a drip grind. So not quite drip grind, you can get away with drip grind, but it might over extract and create a little bit of bitterness. I also have a weigh scale. Now I recommend the Barista weigh scales. This is just one that I've had around my kitchen for a while. Anyway, fresh ground coffee. I'm gonna put that into the uh, cloth filter. And what I'm gonna do is take out exactly, I like 200 grams, but usually it's between 240 and 250 um, grams of water. And that basically gets you one beautiful uh, eight ounce cup of Ojo coffee. I'll pre-wet the, the grinds, allow those to bloom a little bit. And what happens, just allowing off gassing, because my coffee is super, super fresh, um, carbon dioxide can actually restrict some of the extraction of the oils. Now, most people can't taste the difference whether it's been bloomed or not, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna get coffee snobbish on you and show you how that's done. But I have 200 grams of water in here. I know that I can finish my pour, going in a swirling action. And um, once the water's done, I know it's going to give me exactly the, the portion and the cup I need. I love to weigh everything because you can get your coffee flavor exact all the time or know where you went wrong. Letting that finish, I've got my pre-warmed up uh, glass that I'm going to enjoy that in after. Now you saw that I ground fresh using my Baratza grinder, but I mean you can um, take a shortcut and use an Airscape container and get your coffee pre-ground. Again, I don't like pre-ground coffee if you have the choice, but if you're on a budget, uh, your next best thing is uh, get your coffee fresh every week or every two weeks, have it ground uh, with a quality grinder and store it in an Airscape container. See on the video there, um, I'm at four minutes and I've been babbling. So a lot of people think, oh, handcrafted coffee, it's, uh, it's such a, an inconvenience. As long as you have your water and your ground coffee conveniently handy, um, you can brew amazing gourmet coffee in, in a few minutes. And then the only disadvantage to a cloth filter is I just have to take it, empty out my grinds into my compost bin, and then rinse it with hot water, wring it out really good, and then leave it in a spot where it can dry within a couple of hours so that it doesn't get moldy. My brew is done. I'll put it onto my drip tray and fresh Ojo coffee. I also wanted to mention that the coffee sock uh, comes uh, pre-formulated for the Hario V60. But believe it or not, if you have an existing brewer, uh, there's the number four filter and the number six filter. So if you have an existing uh, coffee brewer, 
you can actually use these re reusable filters in your coffee brewer. Um, again, the only disadvantage is you have to take them out and clean them. But in terms of flavor, you will notice an immediate uh, flavor increase um, because it allows for the uh, more oils from those coffee beans to come out. So, and coffee sock available at Ojo Coffee.